Hi, I'm Ed from Guitar Space. And I started hanging my guitars at a necessity first because I had a tiny studio apartment in New York City and um, floor space was valuable. So I got three tips for you that I've learned over the years for hanging your guitars. So here, I have a typical guitar hanger. And uh, these are not top of the line hangers. These are, these are middle, middle level. Now I've been using these for years and the first thing that I do, and this is tip number one, is change the screws. Go to the hardware store and get the strongest screws that you can and stronger wall anchors. You don't want your precious baby hitting the floor. Tip number two, check this out. We're gonna take this thing apart. And basically this comes in two pieces. There's the U shape that's the hanger and then there's the, the stem. And this is a straight piece. And what it is, it gets soldered together here. And now this is the weakest point of the hanger. This is what makes inexpensive hangers cheap. Now this is an inexpensive wall hanger, but what I did was I soldered this. When I first opened this up, I saw two little dots of solder, one on each side. I could snap it in two with my fingers. So what I did was I put solder on it to strengthen it. I've had these wall hangers for over 10 years and uh, my 12 pound Gibson Les Paul has never hit the ground. Tip number three, measure. Measure where you're gonna hang your guitars so that they look attractive, they're not cluttered together, they're not too far apart, you make the, the best use of your space. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.